And Laura is making, uh, uh, writing a book about me. You see, uh, her father, Billy, my brother, told her that I was 14 and a half years old. When I brought from uh, Hungary, I brought her the entire family. Her father and mother and four brothers. And uh, how I made it, you see, I, uh, I was uh, very good in school. I was, uh, in fact, the teachers called me uh, uh, Madame Curie, I'll be the next Madame Curie. You can imagine that um, our school needed a loan. So they uh, asked in another city for a man, for the school, for the money. So they invited him to our school. They needed somebody to uh, be nice to that guest. They don't sit down very well. I don't tell you. So whom did they call? Dora Ornstein, because Dora Ornstein, I had a, I still remember the speech that I said. Kishlakal not duna even. Emi draga lakwitschka nege. Kindernisi keitze mentilaya valahansa dunga. Yeah. And then, look, I well, still I remember, I still Hungarian? remember. Hungarian? Yeah. Your mother was Hungarian. You're know, Ungar, huh? I'm an Ungar. Oh, I but I remember from school, too. Like, suppose I remember uh, geography. It's a couple of years. Oh, Venezuela, yeah. Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Chile. Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Brazil. <laughs> and I'll tell you which, which queen, which queen ruined, uh, 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 you know, uh, not ruined, but when the she ruined, ruined, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When, when she ruined, you see? Uh-huh. Which they queen? They told us, they teach us very well. Which, good was, which was the queen? <laughs> so I was... That's just a, a little of my microphone. So I can record. So listen. Yeah. So tell us about the queen. And how so that I was brilliant in school, and I said to my parents, I was 14, I don't want to stay here in Hungary because uh, we were outcasts because we came from Austria. They didn't like the, uh, the in Hungary. I said, who am I going to marry? A shoemaker or a tailor? It's not for Dora on the street. I want to go to America. And my mother heard it. When my mother heard it, she painted. She what? She's going to send a girl of 14 all by herself to America? But it came to her and she saw that it, it has to be. A friend of ours went to America with three children, so they wrote me in as a four child. We didn't have no money. We lived by a landlord. My parents borrowed some money. They said that they took me as their child, and they I came to America to 96 Clinton Street, my mother's and aunt, and then. Uh, how, how was the they, trip? How was the trip on the it boat? Was, it was all right. It was, it was all right. Yeah. How did what accommodations did you have? Who remembers accommodations? I mean, the, 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 the year. It was nice. It's 1902. 1902. So uh, they uh, took me into a place to work, a, a cousin, you know, took me in. And they saw her get, get me next door, where to live. And a family, they had one girl of 12. And... Uh, you were 14? I was 14. 14 and a half. Okay. November the 13th. November the 13th was uh, is my birthday, and I uh, I came here in uh, this time of the, in summertime, you see. And I uh, you went to work right away. I went to work right away, and I <coughs> saved up the first God bless you. I saved up the first ten dollars. I sent them home. They got twenty-five dollars for ten dollars in Europe. <coughs> so the whole hunger, not Mihaly is the name of the city. They were all up. If a girl, a skinny, oh, if you would see me, <laughs> if a girl of fourteen can earn that much money, couldn't even look at me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, pop, right? <laughs> uh, stop this.
Laura's making a book, everything like this. Yeah. You mm -hmm. see, she's writing mm -hmm. it. And she says, uh, then I'll sell it, she says. So the half of it, she said, three quarters, mm -hmm. is gonna, I'm going to give you. I don't know whether, she's, I'm sure she didn't sell it Where yet. Where did she uh, write this book? She's still writing she's still it. Writing. Everything is more and more. Uh -huh. You know, her father really told her something, and yeah. the rest, every time we met to a party, yeah. she brought along the a tape recorder, tape recorder mm -hmm. and I told her mm -hmm. certain things, mm -hmm. how it was. How uh, in America, how I lived and how I, there was a sale to uh, tickets, so from Europe to America. Yeah. So, for $10. Oh, my goodness. For $10. That was your so price, I, $10? Bucks? 10 bucks, so I bought a ticket for my father. Uh -huh. And then I had to read the ticket when I came in with the ticket. So the, so the Mrs. Uh, Goldsnyder was the name of the, the people that I lived. Yeah. They had one girl of 12, and when I moved in, I, a couple of months later, she had another child, and they were very happy. They said, I, I, I brought in, it was a good thing I wasn't a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> so I had already the ticket. When I got the ticket, I came in to the home, and I started to cry. I told, showed her the ticket, and I started to cry. She said, Dora, what are you crying? I said, I got the ticket. Where am I going to get $60, 60 or $65 to, uh, they sh he should come to the boat. I know my mother hasn't got it, and I also haven't got it. She took off her ring. I told this all to Laura. She took her ring, and she said, Dora, here, pawn it. I did. I got $60 for it. And I sent away, and my father came up. Yeah. And where did they stay when they came? They, they got an apartment, got a room somewhere? First, first my father came himself. Oh. So he stood uh, also by my aunt for a little while. Yeah. And then... Uh, did he work, go to work too? Yeah. Well. They taught him how to press... Um, a jacket, they wore that time ja three-quarter jackets and suits. They, they taught them how to do, how to be a presser. I remember, the presser before they put the lining on. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Yeah. We're, being, we're being interviewed. This is on the, our talk show here. And then... Uh, so he, he became a presser and he, he earned some money. He became a then, um, yeah, he then he, presser, my that wages, that. And, you know, I gave him, to, and we saved it up, and then we saved, sent for my mother and the, and the boys. I see. And the yeah. boys. There were how many boys at the time? The four boys. The four boys. Yeah. Because that was the extent of the family, the yeah. four boys. Yeah. And I, next door was a... Uh, uh, an empty uh, uh, apartment. Mm -hmm. I got the apartment. The family is still, you know, that the gold slider where I live, they helped me an awful lot. They liked me. She said, I'm her daughter. It's, uh, that's, that's nice. Yeah. But uh, you stayed with uh, your father in the, in the apartment yeah. until they came. Yeah. Yes. Her, um, her sister was divorced. She got the furniture mm -hmm. and uh, storage. So for twelve dollars, I got the whole caboodle, a kitchen set, a dining room set, everything. I got the really furnished room. So Pop really fell into something when he met you, huh? You you were already set up for. No, he he met me later. Yeah. And then uh, they taught me how to how to work on the machine, and I sewed on lace on handkerchiefs. It was a style. Mm -hmm. That time. And uh, uh, lace and handkerchiefs, beautiful. They, they, they were beautiful. A singer sewing machine. Singer so sewing machine. Uh, three dollars a week sewing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At that time, well, that's okay. three bucks. Yeah. Three bucks. made ten dollars. I made ten dollars. I paid three dollars a week for the. 
you know, for yeah. food and uh, sleeping and everything, $3 a week. So how much could you save? A dollar a week saving? Or? So I saved and we saved up and we sent for my mother yes. and that's how, that's how they you, came. Your father continued working as a presser for yes. years? As a presser, well, yes. He stopped yeah. working, did he? Because uh, I don't never remember later, him working. Later on he stopped. He stopped. Working, yeah. And the, boys and the, boy, the four boys were here, you know. Oh, they, so they stayed home and they contributed. Yeah. And they, what did they do when they so first came home? came for breakfast, we didn't, have, we didn't have what to eat. The boys were errand boys, too. So we got, up, we got up in the morning, we didn't have no uh, what to oh. eat. Mm -hmm. So they all, they ran errands and everybody gave them a couple of cents. They all had a couple of pennies. So they all put out their pennies on the table, and one boy went in the grocery for eight cents, he bought a quart milk, and for ten cents, six rolls, and we all had breakfast. Eight cents was a lot of money already that yeah. night. Yeah, it's like fifteen cents a bagel. That's right, fifteen cents a bagel. Six <laughs> rolls for ten cents. Uh, you, it's a Nicola, uh, so I told this all to Laura, and she put it down. And even when her daughter got married, when her daughter got married, so she brought one for the tape recorder and the son-in-law and, uh, yeah. And recorded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why did you, you, you continued working until you were how old? How old? When did you meet Pop? That's what I'm trying to read into. I was 25. Oh, you, yeah. were, you worked there from 14 to, you worked there for 11 years? Oh, she was 15. Fifteen, all right, so, so, so about ten years you worked, and then you met Pop. There was uh, uh, neighbors, uh, mine, our, my mother's the neighbors, yeah. he was working by brushes, mm -hmm. Your father, he was a brush maker. Mm -hmm. She knew him, she knew me, she made a shiver, she introduced us. Uh -huh. We got, we met, we got engaged, and Somehow they made a beautiful wedding for who, me. Who made the wedding? My parents. Your parents. Uh -huh. yeah. My mother was... Uh, she always managed. Uh, yeah. Always. I remember. She was, some, she was some woman. Yeah. She belonged to all the societies. Did she work at any time? No. She never worked. She did. She did work? What did she do? Yeah. She in New York? She worked in yeah, Europe, maybe. Made titles. Yeah, she made... Uh, Wigs. 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 Mm -hmm. She took in a man, kept him for a month, mm -hmm. and he taught her how to make wigs. Mm -hmm. That's in Europe. In Europe, all, yeah. all, 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 all the young women get, 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 get married in the best. In the best shite. And they keep, well, or they cut up the hair and then they shave their hands? They, they cut up the hair, it grows back. Right, so they keep so cutting it. You mean you had little stubby stubbles of hair? My mother was nobody uh, in hung Hungary yet yeah, well, before yeah, I left. Even here, the seven, uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> you see, my mother, she was all right. I was a girl, uh, 15, so she made me, they took out a stent, and at the day when there was, um, uh, a mark. How do you say it? Uh, 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 celebration? Like a carnival or a fair? Like a fair. Like a market. Yeah. 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 Every yeah. Monday, every Monday, not a fair, every Monday, that like was the when they come, the farmers from yeah. all over, yeah. they came to the city. This is in Europe you're talking yeah. about? In Europe, yeah. Hungary. And, and she, uh, Before she I went to America. Yeah. She sold the shadows then, huh? I, I didn't see my mother so for wait a 10 minute. years. Let me talk 10, please. <laughs> hey, Pop, Mom's got the word. <laughs> so, so they, um, you forgot every, they went Monday, to the, went every to Monday they had, they, they came, you know, it's all this, yeah, and I had a stand, and on the stand I had soap and ribbons and all kind of things, I sold it. And I made a couple of pennies. This was, uh, you were about you 10, were 11 years old. old. Yeah. And then when I had um, a couple of pennies, yeah. I gave, gave Thursday, I gave my, you know, yeah. my mother, 
Did you live at home when you were 14, I, 11, 12? You lived at home. Sure. Me? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's all, all family life, I see. Yeah. You were from no one to live yeah. somewhere else. I see. Uh -huh. You lived at home. Yeah. Except you go to a different city, you go to a relation. Mm -hmm. So I went away from home when I was 10 years old. I went to my uncle with a whole night travel with a train. What city did you were you born in? I was born in Yavor. Yeah, and where did you go to? At train? Gorlitz. Gorlitz. It's near Hung Hungary. It's a I day, was born in Gorlitz. But I went through, I'm telling you, this for the books. It's and real. I told her and she wrote the, you know, she, she made a book. And this is real it. history. She's not finished yet. Well, Whenever yeah, she sees me, let, uh, she adds uh, to uh, it. Three and a half children. But a girl of 14. Mary was born three months after my father was there. Mm. Oh, I see. So she never saw her father. See, Grandpa wants equal time. You remember seeing her father? <laughs> right. Yeah. What? I was 10 years old. 10 years old. Quite a story. And uh, he, got, he got pneumonia in a, in a, in a couple of days. To Do you have any pictures of him? You want to see him? No, no pictures. No record of him. Did he have a beard? He had a beard. Did you see Dark the picture of my beard, mother, or my brain, father? Yeah. Did you see them? Reddish beard. Like Henderson's, remember? You know? Like that. Yeah, the, you know all the pictures. Yeah. And the yeah. show yeah. him. He's seen I've he seen him. I've seen him. And Grandma yeah. and Grandpa, the wedding pictures. And yeah, we got those. Sure. Yeah. So in other words, when you started up, uh, when you met Pop, you already were, uh, been working for about 10 he years. He had a grocery. Yeah. I married the grocery man. But you said he worked in brushes. Do you I know? worked in brushes. And then he bought a grocery. And, um, uh, I brought here a sister there and died. So, uh, and, and uh, uh, it was a woman running the grocery and she couldn't run it. It was too hard for her. Yeah. So I bought it up for four hundred dollars. How old I, were you then? I was uh, when I came here. I was twenty-three years old. And what what year was that? It was a couple about two years later. What what year was that? Nineteen. When I got married, I was twenty-eight years. No, but when when did uh, did you come here? I came nineteen five. Nineteen oh five, and you were twenty. My eight? mother was 20. a business lady all the time. She made bigs. She okay. had a grocery also in Europe in Hungary. She was, she was some woman. She was, she was. And it arrived here also. I came yeah. to this country. I had fifty dollars left yet, mm -hmm. but I sent home. I had eleven. My mother every month I sent her thirty dollars. But your mother never came here. Okay. She was too old. Not too old. I too old. can't get up. What did you want, Mom? I can't walk. What did you want? What she she and, uh, I got here something. Nice. What? Tell and me and I'll give it to you. No, I can't tell you that. Eight, nine years old. Oh, Mary came first? No. There's nothing Mary, here. Mary, she was the youngest. Yeah. No. So you I were 20? I, I first sent my brother here. Sit down here. I no. made uh, money Pisa, Pisa, in, Pisa, yeah. in Yavrov, yeah. Pisa. I made money in Yavrov. I came and I had ten dollars. I started to uh, open the shop. Oh, that's right. I made me. brushes in the house. Oh, that's I see. I had a couple of young boys and they worked for, uh, for 50 cents a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, then mm -hmm. I made enough for copy because I had nobody in America. Mm -hmm. And if I wouldn't uh, go to America, probably at the start of the war, pretty soon, uh, around 14, 1914, yeah. yeah. I would probably be killed. Yeah. So we so were lucky, so I yeah. sent for my brother. Yeah. And a couple of months later, I, I went mm -hmm. in the sun and I uh, left everything, so I, uh, my mother's recipe sold the machine that I had uh, for the brushes mm -hmm. and uh, everything that I had, so she lived on it until I, I started to work here. Mm -hmm. But you, you were the businessman of the family. You, yeah, you were, you were, you were in I charge. Used, I used to, in, in my city, I couldn't sell the brushes. There was a lot of brush makers. The whole city was making brushes. Mm -hmm. So we used to go in the big city, like Lemberg was a big city. That time, Lemberg had electricity and had trains running and, and electric mm -hmm. and um, lights all over. Mm -hmm. I had an uncle there. I, I stopped up there. And I During the day, I went to the stores and I sold the brushes. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of boxes of brushes there. And I, had, uh, I don't know how much I could collect uh, money. I made money out of the brushes. And mm -hmm. 
Where did you get your uh, bristles from? From local uh, and, uh, farmers? In the other for the other brush makers and they were wholesalers. Yeah. Uh, they they supplied for the other brush makers. Yeah. What was it? Chinese bristle you had or what? Uh, all kinds. All kinds. Yeah. Right? Was they was, they were they were I see. That was they imported some yeah, and some they horse, horse yeah. and then from from Chinese they got the uh, the the hot hot brush those hot brushes for the brushes yeah mm -hmm. so I got a brush here about the old more than fifty years yeah. don't get uh, it don't get it. we'll see it then. So like new is that right well I use your brush every day you yeah. know comb my hair brush my hair well, yeah. this is a Clyde brush. But that's what, in other words, what you did is you you were a businessman in in uh, Yavorov. Uh, so wait, I I hired a guy mm -hmm. a farmer. Mm -hmm. Says so they, they had horses. Yeah. Food didn't cost them the horses. You understand? Yeah. He took a loan a bag with we, uh, oats, oats yeah. and hay, mm -hmm. and uh, went uh, overnight to the one city. Mm -hmm. And I do the day I sold the horses and I packed them. They went home the uh, the other night. Mm -hmm. Then the sto little storekeepers needed merchandise for the stores, like mm -hmm. grocery men, yeah. the flour, sugar. The mm -hmm. So I took merchandise for them. They gave me a ticket to the wholesaler with that to deal. bring back from lumber. Uh, it'll be back. So I mm -hmm. say I saved my money, and made profit yet. I see. Understand? I see. You know what but you were. cost me you no know, uh, service uh, up and to back. Pay, to pay four dollars, uh, four dollars was a lot of money that yeah. night. Pretty I smart. used to make it back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I saved up some money uh -huh. and I uh, sent away and I came to America that time coming to the boat alone cost me forty dollars beside the train yeah so but what I uh, mean the train to take you to the uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, the, to the, the train to the boat where was the boat was the, uh, the boat was in Hamburg uh, Hamburg in Germany in Germany uh -huh. And this, uh, I was uh, from London, it was a big distance, uh, 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 But what did you think you were going to find in the in a new country? What were you expecting? Freedom. Freedom. From oh, what? Oh, from, from they, uh, persecution? The horse makers, I was competing them, they yeah. said. They said they can so uh, yeah. The stores where they sold them, I sold them, you understand? I mm -hmm. So I was a competitor. And uh, a year later, two years later, and uh, I started to send money home for my mother mm -hmm. and this. So they told our marriages, uh, they started to come here. Mm -hmm. But they had they had a uh, union there, the bosses had a union, not the workers. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, they, the union had connections with the police department. Mm -hmm. And I went away with the brochures that day. Mm -hmm. uh, they sent uh, the policemen, the, the nurse, and they took away the the, the machine, but I drilled yeah. the holes for yeah. the brushes. Yeah. And they persecuted uh, you. Know. Yeah. Were they so were they were they Jewish? These uh, Jewish. They were yeah. Jewish. They Jewish. persecuted their own people. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Competition. Competition. Yeah. Competition. That was a guild, in other words. It was a guild, a trade no, guild. No, funny. Yeah. In Marion, they called it the Jewish. Before Miss Federman, the boy starting to talk. Yeah. You don't need that radio. You must. All right, take I told him already. Yeah. Oh, yeah? You're out of order. Right. Mm -hmm. You're interrupting an important conversation with something that's instantly yeah. consequential. Because, um, I don't yeah. want you to. All right, so go ahead, Pop. So, in other words, you th these people persecuted you and uh, to eliminate competition. Persecuted you. They didn't take me to court. Well, because but they got the police. They had the here. power to take to take the money the way the but they had the machine yeah. and everything. So that put so you out of business. Uh, that put me out of business. I see. So uh, then I uh, they gave me back so was here a, a fellow uh, relation to us. Uh, yeah. uh, his father uh, was a little politician. Uh, yeah. So he so this is a cousin he was he was a cousin to my mother. Mm -hmm. He saw that I should get back this stuff. Oh, he went and got you know yeah, stuff yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I didn't do anything wrong to nobody, yeah. so they had no business to come but right. no, right. but uh, And how old were you then about about nineteen twenty? I was uh, I was about nineteen years. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. So hey, I Pop, did you go out with girls? Did you go out with girls in those days? No, no. You're just straight business, straight I, business. I, huh? Straight business. I, yeah, I no had the business to make money. But the, you had no. Yeah. How, what pleasures did you have in those days? No pleasures. What pleasures? Eat, eat and sleep. That's all. And sleep. That's all. No, just eat, work, and that's sleep. That's all. And no, uh, you didn't have any parties or any no, uh, parties, no enjoyment. No time. Just to make a living. Just to, to make a tea. Just, 
the ball, the mother with the children, and uh, make money now to bring them here. Yeah. My, uh, my brother I sent first, and then I went, and then the two sisters grown up a little, so mm -hmm. uh, the older one I brought here, mm -hmm. and I put her, I bought a grocery, and I put her on the grocery, mm -hmm. and I went to the daytime with the wife and the pay brushes mm -hmm. in order to make money to uh, Do you feel okay. that... Do you feel that in t uh, today's uh, world that people act like that way? Do people act that way? You know, do they have that feeling that you had for, the, for your parents to work like that? Do people do that today, in your opinion? Well, maybe they would, but they're calling. But there are people. I had obligations and not this. My uncle uh, promised me to pay me for the work after the work of certain yeah. amount of years mm -hmm. and $25 a year. Mm -hmm. It didn't pay me. He said, take my daughter. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I went away in another city and I got a, a job. And they used to use that to the workers. You know, you know what I gave you for breakfast? They gave you a nickel. You had to go in the bakery to buy a quarter of bread for a nickel. Mm -hmm. and, uh, no, and they gave you a cup of coffee. And that's all. No butter, nothing. That's the kind that, of was the, that was the food, a little that's bread and a little bit of milk. And you slept there, and that's, this was the breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then they made for lunch at uh, 12 o'clock, she made a meal. Mm -hmm. uh, the soup and, uh, mm -hmm. and more water than soup. <laughs> but it's more like family style. Yeah, you know, it was yeah, a family yeah, type yeah. of, uh, of yeah, an operation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but elderly people too, so the woman uh, couldn't uh, do much. Mm -hmm. And uh, she helped a little with the brushes, and they had three, four boys. It was a big room, you know, with a couple of... But this is before you went into business for yourself. Before. But I went away from my uncle. I mm -hmm. worked a year mm -hmm. for $25. Mm -hmm. So I saved up uh, about... Uh, Excuse me, let the fan run, please. Uh, right. You see, your mother, she bothers me every minute, but... <laughs> what do you bother her? You see, so I, I go out in the yard in the minute. Get away. Because... <laughs> Because this, uh, I wonder if I get this. He's story. got the center of the stage. We're interested in hearing what he has to say. We're interested in what you have to say. Let so him have a chance to talk. How much chance he's had to talk? I so just want to tell you that I made already before I got married $15 a week. That was a lot of money. $15 was more than 50 today. Yeah. So uh, this was, say, people wait for $3 a week here. They came. The three dollars was was they didn't figure the American money three dollars, you know, or ten dollars. They figured twenty five dollars, ten dollars. So you came here yeah. in 1905, and you worked in the, for how many years did you work before you uh, bought the grocery? A couple of years. Couple of years, and you bought a grocery store. Yeah. Where where was the grocery store? The grocery store was in the Lancer Street near the water there. Oh, down street. by the bridge. On there was a the there was a bridge there. One side was the bridge. Was, was, was the was no, not the yeah. Williamsburg Bridge. The Williamsburg was, it, was it built yeah, then? Yeah, it was uh, just finished. Just finished. When I came, it just got finished. I see. Yeah. And and uh, you didn't know Mom at the time, right? No, when no. you bought the and how long she, did you have to go to the store? She had a cousin. She had a cousin there. He had, had a grocery store a car two blocks away. Uh -huh. So and, uh, and I was doing business. So and and uh, so she uh, they introduced us. Oh, you knew her cousin, who was a uh, yeah, that did the same business in the grocery. Yeah, so you were kind of friendly yeah. competitors. Uh -huh. So he said, "I got a nice, a nice uh, girl for you." But uh, you uh -huh. at that time, the people were poor. Was for that cousin, that they were they were cousin. The grocer, but the grocer, what is her relation to you or something? No, no. What then? It's the brush maker. Uh, that, uh, yeah, but, but so what did he do? He brought mom over, or you uh, went to see her? How did you do it? Wait a minute. Ma uh, what How did you get to meet mom? Were they made a party, or came what? Came to us. Oh, you you came over there to uh, to meet her, and he introduced you. I don't remember. Yeah. Must have been. Uh huh. I see. Did you give him a kiss on the first date, mom? <laughs> I, I no. That time, yeah. Fifteen dollars. I ordered the suit, a uh, summer suit, beautiful uh, imported goods. For $15 for two pieces, uh -huh. I was dressed up. Uh, so she thought you were quite a guy, huh? Sure. Yeah. When did you take her dancing, or what did you, where did you well, go? Well, when she saw her grocery, that much you know, the food, you wouldn't have to take that. <laughs> 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 so she had apples, so don't yeah. kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. In one year, she gained about 90 pounds. I know, but mom was, mom was really skinny when you met her. Was she, she was skinny. What about 92 pounds? 
from eating was to uh, sell the grocery store, talking, right? Talking with Is that right, I'm now? He, he only sold the grocery store to stop you from eating. Is that right? <laughs> Look, my mother, my mother was there. Uh, she made the bigs, you know. So um, she went um, in another th- country, you know, uh, around... There was a bride that get, getting married, she needed a drink. So my, they sent for my mother. This is new. There was no, at no, uh, that time, uh, bosses or what. So she hired um, a man, a, a boy, a, a boy, you know, a Gentile, with a horse and wagon. And she went up on the wagon, and he, he thought that she's up already, he was sitting in the front. She, her foot got four, caught in the wagon, and she become, came out from the hip, and she become uh, a cripple for life, and that's how she came to America. Yeah. 